I forgot to push record. All right. So what I did is I converted one plus tangent squared theta on the bottom here um, is equal to secant squared theta. And then I convert that to one over cosine squared theta and then I'm reciprocating that and multiplying it across this whole thing. So this actually becomes um, cosine squared theta minus and then tangent converted is equal to tangent, or tangent sine squared theta over cosine squared theta. And these cancel off and then I just get plus one. So it becomes cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta plus one equals two cosine squared theta. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, let's see here. So <clears throat> I can convert this so it becomes cosine squared theta minus one minus cosine squared theta because that's an identity plus one. So I get cosine squared theta minus one <coughs> plus cosine squared theta plus one, the ones cancel off. You add the two cosines together and we get two cosine squared theta, which is equal to two cosine squared theta. And that's it. All right, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.